Hi guys. Hello people. I'm, I'm Ola. Ola. And we're watching Sopranos. Always excited about watching Sopranos. Is it Sopranos. eight? Yes. What episode is it? The last episode was the best oh, episode. The last episode, episode so was too. insane. It I was think like... so too. But like also the episode before that was so good. With the therapist. I mean so uncomfortable but so good. Yes, but like so uncomfortable. But like this episode was uh, connecting his family. family and growing up with him now raising children. You know? So like... Yeah. Somehow that Like, especially was... the connection with AJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm... I couldn't be more excited about this mm. episode. Um, Honestly, about any episode. I think that for, for now on, we don't have to mention it. Yeah, because <laughs> there is not a single part of this that I don't like. Exactly. You know, so, like, whatever you give me... There is nothing I'm not entertained with, at least, you know? I can't wait to see everything that they show me. Yes. Like, and I like the characters. I like Tony. I like, like I them. like Carmilla as well. I love them. I adore them. I mean, I so like... So far, they're my favorites, but, like, we explore them Clearly, like, who, who know? is gonna be Chris. And like, uh, I mean, I really like Chris. Chris is very funny to me, but just, like, we don't... Oh, we don't know him. We don't know him. Yeah. So, like... At this point, I don't have any feelings towards him. Yes, yeah, sure, no, I he just, can he, laugh He's sometimes. very funny to me. Like, there's something... Every time I see him... I'm, he, you know I when mean, someone is so funny to you every time you see them that somehow they become endearing okay. because they're... Okay. I feel like he's my funny cousin somehow. Okay, okay. You know? I mean, at this point, I yeah, don't find him that endearing. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to have the same of course, opinion. <laughs> of course, Just at this point, like, yes, like, I laugh sometimes with him, but, like, I am uh, excited for his story, mm. let's say, just because, like, I still remember the fact how he murdered a guy you know like how he murdered it like 10 times shooting him more than once oh yeah that you know, one yeah. that was very interesting about his character yeah I can't wait that part to be explored to see where his character is going you know yeah. is it like or is it like or is that thing, you know? I don't know because like he he seems to have uh, been the type to like let's say watch the God Godfather mm-hmm. and like I don't know what's happened to the Godfather because I have not seen Godfather but like let's assume it's like stereotypical mafia and like it's um, somebody did say they want the, or whatever. Uh, the reaction to Godfather. I mean, we first had to start reacting to any movie. Yeah, but like, uh, the, I don't any know if movie. you remember, but like, sorry, I interrupted your story. You're gonna forget it, hundred percent. But like, uh, I remember when we started the uh, when we talked about starting a movie. I, think I remember. We didn't. Yeah. I said that like I am afraid <laughs> if we play the movie, if we start to react to the movies, you're gonna have to react to Godfather. There is nothing. There is not a single part in me that wants to see that movie. Like, not a single part in me, honestly. I don't know why. Like, since I was a child, mm. I've never wanted to watch that. My whole house, like, my mom, that's her favorite movie. My brother, his favorite... I think, like, uh, like all his passports in the past were, like, Corleone. I think that's from... Really? Yes, or something like that. I know my best guy friend in high school. What was that? He, every fucking time he was quoting something. I'm like, I just, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> like, I, and like, see the type of people that we mentioned. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So like, I, I don't know. That doesn't bode well for the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Just, there was, like, since I was a kid, I never wanted to watch it. Nothing has changed in the meantime, you know? Who knows? Maybe now that we see this mafia, but I'm like, nothing that compares to this. Yeah, so, like, what, think, what is the point? Especially because I think it is a lot of action. Like, I one, have nothing to one, base it on. One person told me that. Oh, okay. We talked uh, about it like a week ago. <laughs> My I... friend told me like that, like, it's a lot of action, but like, she said it's fun to watch. Like she, I would never. She was like, I would never play it in my free time. But okay. like it was fun because like a lot of us were sitting down and watching. Okay, it, it was fun to comment on it. I was like, that's what we do actually. Yeah. <laughs> comment on it technically. And we're just not funny people. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't comment on any funny things. <laughs> I I don't know. We have to start reacting to movies. We even know what like, I, someone needs to like start make a with. compilation. A we know a movie to start with. Yeah. We're not gonna tell you. No. But, like, we know if we start with fun, we're going to start with this one because, like, there's a specific movie that the two of us wanted to watch for the past 10 years, I think. And we talked so many times about watching it and we never played we it. We never right? played it. Um, and so we're like, we might as well play it and film that. And I was... I want... <laughs> God, I love spoiling. What? Nothing. What are you going to say? I can cut it out. No, I was like, oh, it's anime. <laughs> I mean, that's a, it's a teaser. It yeah. is an animated one. Yeah, I like this put those things you know make yeah, people more interested this is just imagine me not watching something i mean me trying to catch up something that she is watching <laughs> i literally need to go like this shut up 
<laughs> because like she her face is gonna tell me something yes, like her like her face remember looks, guest kissing a girl in like uh, her face dragon show yeah her face literally just says it <laughs> she's like i'm not gonna tell you but like it's something that's like this and this but like you told me if some of us potentially get spoiled over the comments if it's gonna be me i'm gonna be like i'm gonna keep fucking quiet because like yeah I, i'm gonna let you but the thing is you wouldn't let me not tell you yeah, I would. yeah, so I wouldn't even tell you that I was spoiled. You shouldn't, because like if I knew you were spoiled, about, I would die if I don't know what yeah. it's about. Yeah. I would, because I love spoiling myself. And yeah. for this, for the action, I can't. Like, yeah. that's physically paining, you know? Like, every episode, it's physically paining. That, like, I and don't I'm know the what's opposite. happening. I'm like, do not speak to me. <laughs> like, when I speak to people in real life, and they start talking about something that, like, we are reacting to or plan to react, so I'm like... Be very vague. With yeah, but like I, I, with that, I, you, I do as well because I have to. <laughs> it's not my first choice. I would yeah. want to know everything. But the thing is, even before we act, I'm like, if I'm gonna watch it, don't tell me. Just like you can, like, yeah, I don't. You can. I'm not like you that. know. Just be like, there's a great romance. Like you can tell me that. That's great. I would be like, in what minute they kiss? <laughs> tell me that. <laughs> I don't know what what's about that, but it's just how it is. Uh-huh. Anyways, like, did my story that I started <laughs> five, <laughs> five minutes, five minutes ago. ago. I think Chris like saw the Godfather and like the stereotypes, and he thinks he's in a movie. You know what I mean? Mm. He's like, let's fucking go, <laughs> let's do, let's get bazookas, let's do. I think she's well. Chris, calm down. Yeah, I think she's well. So like that, that somehow, some something with that to me sounds very funny. Uh, so I, I don't know like what see the... I agree it's just that I don't know if it's gonna go in a funny uh, direction or a scary direction no the thing is I think like w- there's time we have to develop his story yeah, 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 so yeah. like I I don't know where we're gonna go I don't and know I what type of character he's gonna be just like for now where we are at he's very funny to me yeah that can turn very dangerous because yeah. like if you think you're in a fucking movie I agree that's what I wanna say like, what do you think yeah. like where does your morality lie exactly I mean, yeah I agree okay. especially because like I, but like I do remember that somebody said that like he th- they think like we're gonna like his story sure but like again that can so mean weak. everything <laughs> yeah and that can mean a downfall I love uh, up- both like stories a, not upfall whatever this is <laughs> that can yeah. mean anything we'll see but I think I love everyone's story but like uh, the woman Olivia is one is of it the... Olivia or Olivia I call her Olivia because you say Olivia I don't know what I say name. Olivia you say Olivia I think it's Olivia I think so as well that's why I, I think I thought you said Olivia no I said Olivia okay <laughs> because I'm like am I missing I this? thought like in episode one or two that it is Olivia but like you said Olivia a few times and that's mm. why I continued yeah with Olivia. I am Pretty, pretty confident, Olivia. Yeah. No, I'm pretty confident. I remember, I, if I remember correctly, people like uh, spelled, spelled Olivia. I mean, in the translation, they spelled the, okay, it. Okay, then, then it, it is. Um, uh, well, is the, Olivia is in the. I mean, that's very clear. Yeah. Very clear. Yeah. Like I if I think I feel like it took us three episodes to be yeah, like. Of course. Yeah, of course. Which character? I'm would just be... happy it's not Carmela. I because like that list was horrifying because what do you mean Skylar White is first yeah I'm not gonna like, comment Olivia on that Olivia after Olivia who says like when well, I fucking stab you in the eye to a child and you put Skylar I... I'm not gonna comment on <sighs> that me neither honestly, so me like... neither me neither but like I have to contain myself every time <laughs> every fucking time yeah so I mean should we watch? I think so. <laughs> I'm like, play the episode? should I talk more? <laughs> and everyone's like behind the screens no you should not talk more <laughs> <laughs> it's appropriate we talked about Chris so Literally. much in the intro. Look at him. Literally. What is this wallpaper? I was about him? to say, why are they? See, he. Always dramatic. Is he high? Is he dreaming? Seems like he's dreaming. This death is yeah. interesting. Carmela? I don't know how I'm supposed to read that. Me neither. Is that his dead friend? I don't know who that was. Yeah, that's not his dead friend. Okay. Maybe that's, that's someone one he killed. Who killed, killed yeah. He has blood on him. But, but I don't know. This is uh, I. I never know how to. Um... You killed me. What do you want me to do? Is this his consciousness actually working? Tell, you. tell me what. You come here every night. You fucked up. Here's these. Uh-huh. Mm. Where did you find them? One in the table. Get rid of these. Like he doesn't sleep because he's paranoid that he's gonna get caught, yeah, but not because he killed someone. That's how it seems from this. Let's see. 
Now, what is the... Why did he say Carmelo? That's what I mean. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Because when Tony saw the, the therapist, that told me something. But I don't know enough about Chris to make that deduction. Nor would I see why. So adorable. Look at her hair. I just, I love I think her. She dresses so, so much like an Italian mother. You, I can't... Is the concept of a rehearsal dinner not weird to you? Like, what are we rehearsing? Their marriage? Like, well, how do you rehearse that? Where the fuck you get this? I got a guy who owes me. He's got like a whole lot of works on FBI. Is it not like an engagement party? Was like, I don't know. I mean, the whole day, I feel like they I mean, call she was in a dress, so technically. Who the fuck are you talking about? Are you sure about this? Oh, it ain't just my sauce and jersey. Half of New York moved to Fort Lauderdale already. What do you mean, why? I'm OC. Where'd you get your fucking money? Where'd you get your fucking money? I didn't. Not yet, anyway. You're not a made man yet. Hello, Jerry. You got anything you want to say about this? You guys see indictments under your bed at night. I say we duck for a while. Now, what are we going to do? Close shop? We can't do that. Fun. What do you think? What you ask him for? I'm just... I just gave him an answer. Like, I'm the boss. Does this remind you of Breaking Bad? Yes, it's but like... like uh... It's everywhere. I get it. What else? I love how she's helping him. What's the matter? Nothing. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Who you chose this? Right now. Why the fuck now? Just want things to go going good. Boot your computer, the cops are coming. So? You want them to see all that porno you downloaded? Oh my god, I cannot. I cannot. They're such siblings. This fucking shotgun. Remember she went to the shotgun in episode one. I'm not giving you my engagement ring. This isn't stolen. Is it? No. What do you think I am? <laughs> lying. I think you're lying. They're burning while the cops are coming. I don't think they're coming yet, though. What are the? Oh, I thought it was a like helicopter. <laughs> it's America. Yeah. Was he writing a Maid Man? He is writing a script for something called Maid Man. Uh, is he not hey, ridiculous? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? The script? Hey, I can't like give an opinion every time you add a sentence. I gotta have a whole story flow. I'm starting with the dialogue. I managed to get the drop on him. Do you mean to say I managed to get the drop on him? Or is he saying Manuj, like, like Manuj el American? Not Tennessee William. Tennessee William. I have never seen you apply yourself like this. I love movies. You know, you're gonna let all this love and knowledge go to waste? I love shows as My well. I don't think I could write one. Mob stories are always high. I can make my mark. Babe, with these indictments, shouldn't you put the script away for a while and get rid of evidence? <laughs> Travel light, free bird. You stole this computer plus the one you just gave Melissa. Oh my god. She seems very smart. I wonder she, how yeah, I wonder how she's gonna help us. Turn on channel six. With indictments to follow. With us is syndicated columnist and author of Mafia, America's longest running soap opera, Jeffrey Warnick. First of all, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure oh to be here. God. My sources tell me that Corrado Jr. Soprano was made new boss after the death of the Creole. The Sopranos have long historic ties to the New York Times. But they just like talk about their yeah, names yeah, so. I'm a bit shocked about it. Execution style slaying of Soprano family associate Brendan Bellone. No one would ever rank him as a soldier. He's a royal soldier, if you will. <laughs> and he winds up dead. Soldier? That's a problem. <laughs> Brendan Fallon, associate, soldier. Fuck you. Fuck this. Georgie, did you see it from the beginning? Did they mention my name? He's it's like, he is not the soldier, I'm the soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes skin so gravy like you, Nana. You know? I'm up at bar waiting for my car uh, I was like, who are these people? people? Me too. What? Ginzo? What is that I'm word? Sorry, I'm just wondering who are What's these people mean? to her? Her son. Son? Okay, these are... 
But she doesn't look that old for that old of a son. That's why I say oh my god, yes, mother issues actually, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. No, I shouldn't have mentioned it. Can we change the subject? No way. Just refer him to another doctor. You can do that, couldn't you? Break the cheese down, I don't think okay? she wants to. Sure she can. Now I remember why we got divorced. Oh. Why should I look for a doctor on the patient? Are you not a country sociopaths? He's scum and you shouldn't have him in this bed with. You, you have no idea who this man is and yet you call him scum. People like him are the reason Italian Americans have such a bad image. I agree. Why do you think we're never going to see an Italian president? Oh, and that's my patient's fault. Hey. I realize that you're very involved in the anti-defamation lobby. So go out to Hollywood if you feel you absolutely have to. We'll leave my patient alone. It's this energy. Of oil. What? Get down here right away. We're exterminating. I'm kind of busy now. And get some show you down with Carolina shit for the guys. He's really desperate to be made. How did you know to talk about Chris before this happened? I don't know, I don't know, I can't believe this. Hey Gina, oh. I catch it. Some, um... Whoa, whoa, number 34, right here. He was in my and he just went out to go get gas in his car. Oh, so I could go out, fuck your sister, come back Saturday, I go to the front of the line? I said he could. Hey, poppin' fresh, I'm in no fucking mood today. I'm next, now get a fucking pastry box. Gina, what can I get you? Oh! Sorry, right, buddy, let this me is... go first. Nah, you don't make the rules here. Alright, let me have uh, two Neapolitan loaves. You uh, took a single fucking crust, you're gonna wish you took that job at McDonald's. Fuck you. Okay, take a walk. You don't come back at all, like I wouldn't. Come on, get up. I'm not gonna hurt you. What is it? What is it? Do I look like a pussy to you? No. I'm serious, be honest, I won't get mad. So why the fuck would you give me a hard time and talk to me like I'm nothing to worry about? I'm, I'm sorry. Move it! It's very dangerous when someone has an inferiority complex. I think it's gonna be fine. He's not gonna die. Oh my god! <laughs> I would not be able to do this. If somebody would do it, I would just like lie down. I don't feel good under pressure. Mm -mm. And I cannot imagine a bigger pressure. Next time you see my face. Show some respect. I will. Oh, you motherfucker! You shot my foot! It happens. I would not scream. He has to go to a hospital with a bullet. It's bound to. Like, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but, like, it's bound to ask some questions. Like, you're not thinking about this clearly. He wants to, like, prove himself. He wants to be badass. He wants to be. He wants people to respect him. Yeah. I called you last Christmas. But I did agree with him about the line thing. About this? Sh line. <laughs> Should have. The guy just entered. He could wait for two minutes. I hope they'll be alright. The guys. Well, what about me? You'll be alright. They didn't even mention your name on television. Fucking amazing, though, huh? You know what? That news guy? He said the words Brendan. He's gonna make them mention his name. He literally wants to be arrested because then at least he's like important. Made him look like John fucking guy. Insanity. <laughs> just like I cannot relate one fucking <laughs> one bit. fucking. If bit, yeah. I, I would be so happy that my name was not mentioned. I'm flying under the fucking radar. True, true. Carmela is so well dressed. She's come always on. like her I'm hair sorry. is always. You're not sleeping. Oh come on! <laughs> Look how dre how she's dressed. To be cheap on you again. I try to do something nice. I come here to take you out. Right away you think I have some other agenda that I have to talk to you about? <laughs> Don't fly to yourself. I do love that, like, she knows and they're kind of in it together. Yeah, I like that as well. Yeah. Ridiculous. She wants to search for bugs in her room. I don't know if there's any bugs, but there was people at your meeting that worked as waiters. Oh, is he, he want to, wants to hide this here? Oh, he's hiding it. I feel like maybe they would also bug this place. How would she not see that? What do you mean? I mean... It's not definite, I just thought I'd tell you. In case I don't show up for the point. So you're telling me that you're planning a vacation, but you're not sure exactly when it will be. Right. I may never go. 
if they don't arrest me. Both of you know what we're talking about here. Why are you pretending, <laughs> woman? Does this have anything to do with what's been on the news lately? So, if you uh, suddenly stop coming to your appointments, I will assume that you are on vacation. And I should wait to be contacted? That would be a good assumption. <laughs> this is difficult. I do Again, know I don't like this. I don't know the like what boundaries of being yeah. a therapist to someone that's like in the criminal world. I think you need to let the authorities know if he plans to hurt that's someone. That's what I think as well. If he plans to hurt someone. Like if he did hurt somebody. You cannot say it, no. That's the patient doctor. That's what I thought as well. Reality. But like but like he is an active member of the mob. Yeah, so like what constitutes him? Constantly. I thought we were stepping up. I ran into Billy Crutchio. Did you know me? Told me the regular cops said nothing. I'm looking for a guy. Blow off a kid's toe for no good reason. And what's all speculative? Drove a Lexus. Tell me no about that. A dumb thing. Tell me thing. What's going on, Chris? I'm working my ass off on this movie script. You know how many pages I got? Nineteen. You never feel like nothing good was ever gonna happen to you. Yeah, and nothing did. So what? I'm alive. I'm surviving. That's it. I don't want to just survive. It says in these movie writing books that every character has an arc. You understand? And everybody starts out somewhere, and they do something, or something gets done to them, it changes their life. That's called an arc. Where's my arc? He starts down here. He ends up here. Where's my arc, Paulie? <laughs> Kid. Richie Kimball. The devil's whatever. How's your role make for me? Hey. I got no work either. I was born, grew up, spent a few years in the army, a few more in the can, and here I am, a half a wise guy. So what? I got no identity. Hmm. Even Brendan Falone's got an identity. He's dead. All I got is nightmares. That Polish, Czech, Slavic, whatever the fuck he is, is haunting me in my dreams every night. That happens. The more of them you do, the better you'll sleep. I want for chase me for months in my dreams. I feel like he's trying to tell me something. That we fucked up the night that we buried him. We didn't fuck up. And I'm in danger. Can I ask you a question? Why the fuck would he want to tell you you're in danger? Consider me put a fucking moonroof in the back of his head. A fair argument. Why are we you know who had an arc? Noah. <laughs> this is a fucking comedy show. Oh my god, there they I do have... like that arc of Chris's about not having an arc. The thing is, it could be your like. Oh. Uh, is that him? That would be some fucking cool. It could be some memory of like you not being careful and that's like coming to. Holy shit, look at that! Haunt you, but also. Are we actually doing this while we could be potentially. Like, while the police is on us? And we're doing this. We are. What? We are doing this. While we're hot. They're insane. He's watching a dead, a dead person. And he's puking because of the fingernails. I mean, I guess one of the aspects <laughs> is the fingernails. You know, you're all worked up about my patient. A man who has no bearing on who you are or where you are in this world. Oh, call him a patient. The man's a criminal, Jennifer. And after a while, a criminal can be a patient. Get beyond psychotherapy with its cheesy moral relativism, finally going to get to good and evil. And he's evil. Hmm. Shouldn't evil people need more therapy? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. You're long. Ah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Didn't Paulie tell you ain't you feeling good? You know what? I wet my ass with your feelings. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Drive the fucking car. That's one way to start a conversation. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's well, his go to way to start a conversation. He shot some fucking civilian in the foot because he made you wait for buns? Fucking Paulie. Don't find fucking Paulie. The fucking Georgie comes into the club. He's got mouth all over. I 
it's like just the fucking regularness of life is too fucking hard for me or something. I don't, I don't know. But you sleep all the time, right? It's the only thing I still enjoy. Maybe I have cancer. He's or sleeping all the time. Like, does that mean some type of like cancer. depression? Something fucking horrible is going on inside my body. There's a physical change or something. Does this word cancer pop into your mind a lot? He's becoming a therapist, not only. Yes, literally. What? I think that's why he uh, asked, because like he maybe knows maybe anxiety or whatever. Depressed? Yeah. Me? I'm no fucking mental midget. Maybe you got a uh, serotonin problem. Sure, let's call it like that. Whatever the fuck they call it. Huh? You know about that shit? Last time I'm program. Oh, I take Not this skinny guinea. Hmm. You ever think about, uh, you know? Fuck no. Good. There's no fucking losing blow in a skull blow in a bathroom. It's fucking pathetic. <laughs> the things that they talk about. How it's not like foreshadowing or something. Mm. Oh! Anthony Soprano, we have a search warrant. You know we have children in the house, but well, the team's waiting out front. We don't think it necessary to traumatize kids by kicking in doors. So uh, why don't you take a minute and tell me you have uh, visitors? Well, that's nice. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is very interesting. I never like thought about her like mm. connection to him really i mean i did but like not i didn't, I didn't think they were gonna have this much of her story as well you know in personal life it's not have to like, yeah, think about it in a love, different no, way like, like from I, a personal standpoint yeah i thought yeah, this would be nice you're taking my computer as an english paper you gotta be shitting me i bet i have all my programs on there when it comes back anthony i'm not taking that out grasso Get something to clean that. Russell, the fucha pull up pussy. Your ass. Hey, 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 Tom, take it easy. Take it easy. Grasso, take it easy. Tony, we're gonna be out of here in a few minutes. All right, let's wait in the living room. I know those feds are doing their job, but it pisses me off the way they act. One guy wasn't so bad, Harris. Trust me, he was the biggest sneak out of all of them. No <laughs> part of his little act. And that guy that broke the ball, he did that on purpose. I don't think so. He was just a klutz. What was his last name? It's how different they view people. Mizzle, what? Jesus Christ, you think there never was a Michelangelo? Why they treat people? Did you know that an Italian invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell was Italian? You see? You see what I'm talking about? Antonio Meucci invented the telephone and he got robbed! Everybody knows that! I didn't know that. Who invented the mafia? What? Well, Fosa Nostra, who invented that? Who cares? Wasn't it Salvatore Lucana, better known as Charlie Lucky Luciano, who organized the five families? Is there something you want to say to me? <laughs> I just like history, like you know. Is it true that the Chinese invented spaghetti? Now think about it. Why would people have eaten sticks and not something <laughs> they're forced to eat? And there's something else I bet you didn't know. More Italians fought for this country in World War II than any other ethnic group. Will I see you next week? Unless you know something I don't. Just so you understand that I have to charge you for the missed session. What are you talking about? We agreed on that on our very first meeting. I know, but I just explained to you my situation. I understand, but it's important that we respect the agreement. What if I got hit by a car? But you weren't. I know, but what if? But you weren't. I, I know that, but, but what if? You weren't. Why don't you answer my fucking question? I will not. You won't? Fine. Hey, there you go. Because this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cop sucking money. If. I don't understand that comment, and I don't appreciate being made to feel afraid. I don't appreciate feeling like I pour my heart out to a fucking call girl. Is that how you see me? Not until now. But, but it's obvious you don't give a shit about my situation or what's happening with me. Otherwise, you won't be shaking me down. Stick it up your ass. And how about that to go now for you? I think we may have a bad apple. Just tell me now about this. What are you gonna do? 
There's nothing else to do. Just sit back and wait. Yeah, for the apple. Yeah, it's under my Is it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know who he's gonna think it is. I don't know if you have a bad apple. What are you talking about? A psychiatrist? Yeah. Psychiatrist. Stop. Oh. He's been seeing one for a while now. God only knows what he says. Tony? Yes, Tony. Tony, who had such a terrible mother. Oh my god, what a Psychiatry? fucking bitch. Yes, Junior. Who knows what he Psychiatry? says? A psychiatrist. What, yeah. you what did you say to Tony about this? Me? That's not. I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. And Junior, I don't want there to be any repercussions. She? My god. Psychiatrist? I don't want her to be. You're a broken record. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. my yes. fucking god. She literally She's punishes him. Pure evil. What a horrible woman. I'm sure you're just dying to say it again. But like talking about his repercussions, but mother, like, I'm such a bad mother. mother. Yes, you fucking were. It's been a while since we met for therapy. Is it? How's Bob? Oh. oh, family therapy. I'm moving into a smoke-free dorm. And how do we feel about that? I'm more interested in discussing what we mentioned before. Jason, are you concerned that your mother is treating this patient ex? Don't care. I think the ex husband. <laughs> yes, I'm going to well. I suggest you drop the patient. Really? After her last encounter with him, she finally acknowledged that she saw the different side of him, the subhuman. I take it you were frightened. Frightened? You were about it. When did we become so afraid to get our hands dirty? Well, she gets paid for it. Jason, how would you like to see your mother? Never mind, I'm not gonna paint any graphic images. <laughs> see? He always does that. What? Follow that up, Jace. Dad does what? His real issue is that I should distance myself from this man on the grounds of the stigma that he brings us. I say refer this patient to a therapist that specializes in mafia depression. <laughs> <laughs> Jan has a real honest to goodness personal and professional dilemma. For the life of me, I would never open up to this type of therapist. <laughs> you know, on my mother's side, we have a few dog sheep. Excuse me. Lucky. What does that mean? Why is he talking about that? Who's Lucky? Louis Lucky Buckholder. You know. Murder Incorporated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with his uncle was Lefty's real name. Uh, okay. <laughs> those were some tough Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Molly? <laughs> I said what? <laughs> did you hear Molly? Yeah, I did not speak Serbian. I don't Are think you I sure? did. I guess I'll see when I but I don't think I said it in Serbian. He is running to the oh, newspaper. What is he doing? Newspaper, yes. Is it gonna be like we'll something like, but like maybe like the title for us now sound pathetic. Yeah. Like he's gonna be happy about it. Let's I'm wondering see. if it's gonna be pathetic or not. Or like it's such a small Christopher. Why is Bobby looking? Christopher something and something else. He's gonna. He's gonna share a, them for. He is having an existential crisis, but it's bad that because everyone goes through this. Let's say, but like the type of business that he's in. <laughs> God, it's dangerous. No, no. I'm so disappointed. God, like this could go on for ten hours. I'm so disappointed. And I would not even fucking notice it's been ten hours. You know that while we wa watch, like while we are on minute 22, I'm like, okay, we have more. Yeah, yeah like, thank, God. Really to, thank to God, we soon. have more. Like, I'm thinking a few times through the episode, please just don't, 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 I have, because like, I, I don't have a feeling how long it's passed. This is so good. What can I tell you? Yes, but we're so sad again. because we have finished it. It's a good thing we're not even done with season one. You know what I mean? Yes. Not even with yes. season one. Yes. I think we're psychic a bit.
Don't he you? talked about don't it. But like you? that happens sometimes. I don't know. How. I, I don't know. I like it nothing will ever top Levi. Nothing will ever nothing will about. ever top Levi in Attack on Titan and Milna just casually, casually mentioning yeah. Something about Levi smiling. How I want to see him smile. And that's the only time he smiled. That's the he only smiled episode. in that and fucking somehow, episode. What episode was that? I need to mm. go back because that's shocking that you said that. That was shocking. So, like, I do think sometimes we were, like, a bit psychic. True. Was it far-fetched? No. Chris is, like, one of the four characters that we have. So, like, everyone else we, let's say, talked about in every episode. Like, everyone else had their own, let's say, storylines a bit. Like, Tony, Carmela, the kids, and... With Chris, we didn't have much necessarily, like so like it makes sense. Like, well, me too. To, especially because of that comment that said that like they, mm-hmm. they think that like again we're really gonna like Chris's storyline. But I think I've read that for like Anthony's storyline. I mean AJ's storyline as well. I think you could like, read that for every story. For every sto- story. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I really liked what we saw with him in this episode because I think there there's something very relatable about that. How old is he supposed to be? That's the thing that I want to know. Um, I would say 20 something, less than 30. Yeah, but like, is it like 21 or is it like 28? I would say 20, there's a difference. more than 20. More. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't matter, but like, I. We were literally talking about in the intro about how he looks at this life as if it's a movie. Um, but the thing is, the life is not a movie and he is very dissatisfied with that, which is why he is like literally. He is trying to be a writer, but he's not trying to be a writer because he loves, you know, creating something, creating a story, you know, developing characters. He doesn't really know how to spell either. He's like, there's supposed to be 120 pages. So, like, he knows the amount of pages he needs to make. And he's like, I just need to make that so I can have a movie. And it's sort of like he wants to he wants to make what he cannot have in his life, let's say. He wants to live that movie. Yeah, he wants to live that. Because like um real life is I guess more boring than fiction. Which even is... even when you're in mafia. Yeah. But like and you're killing but, people. But I really love that about uh I really love that uh they're talking about that because, like, I think both of us, let's say, went into The Sopranos thinking it's going to be, like, I don't know, like, I, I, I thought it was going to be more, let's say... I just thought it's going to be more action-packed. That's what like, I mean. Like, I thought the, 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 the mob bit is going to be more, like, let's say, grandiose. Yeah. And the mob bit is a side plot, and they're just, like, living out day-to-day life with their family. And the mafia bit, you know, is... In the background, which like seems like the most realistic way that you can portray it, I'm I don't again the Godfather. I don't know what it is, but like I think it's not. It is more like Hollywood. I mean, I just think the the show decided to focus on uh, more on the characters, how they feel about their jobs and what they are doing, and about their families and how they feel about where they ended up, which is again I think very interesting and. Uh, I think what I really like is that like we are watching the story with these let's say three characters. I mean the rest as well, but like these three characters like are let's say male and are in this business. For I mean, AJ is still not in this business, but like AJ is a young and like we can we talked about the last episode mm-hmm. where we saw correlation with Ton- Tony and where mm-hmm. they ended up and how potentially AJ is gonna not with like maybe that's not maybe what Tony wants but like because of the business that he does AJ could potentially end up on a similar path as him again mm-hmm. there is always going to be a difference because there are different people they have been raised by different people you know yeah. and like i would love to see that difference even if they end up in uh, on a similar path and i think with Chris as well he was uh, again born into this lifestyle and again he's completely different uh than them uh, completely different character completely like uh raised by different parents but like ended up on a similar path which it, when we're just like watching him in a different age you know what i mean like we're watching mm. like tony's is like in his four, 30s for at the end of 30s 40s mm. and uh, chris? chris is a 20 something let's say that's yeah. how old i would say he is yeah. and we're gonna see his arc <laughs> He's like, like uh, where's my arc? 
he boy. wants to write it, write it, Surprise you know. Surprise the town if you read it. Is. <laughs> this is your, your... your writing in every episode. But like, again, I, l- I love that his arc is technically an arc that is very, I mean, so far, like what we've seen in this episode, like it's something that's not, something like grandiose, you know what I mean? Like it's, um, that part I think is like very realistic about people going through that, where you, where life seems in a way, let's say, boring. And I feel like everyone went through that period like I, I am certain that like at some point, but I feel like I was younger, like I think high school, elementary school maybe, or whatever, like when you uh, when you watch movies or read books or watch shows and like there's so many things that are happening, like I, before high school I was like watching, there's like a sh- sh- show where they're going to high school, oh my god, this is what high school is gonna be, and like it's so dramatic and like you think it's gonna be this thing and it was not that thing you know it was just a very regular life that's similar to him just with mafia yeah exactly like i think i have i have grown out of that like i find i find joy in life being regular like in doing just like regular things that's i think why i also enjoy reading books and watching shows that take you on a whole different a whole different universe because like it's something that you let's say you can't have but you see it, you can live through these characters, you can live vicariously through these characters, and that has kind of always been enough for me, which is why I have a lot of love for for shows, and I always watch them. And I can, I am good with, like, fiction. Yeah, (laughs) like, I'm, I'm, I'm so good with that, and, like, I'm good with my regular life being as regular as possible. Like, that's it, that's good enough for me. I don't need anything else, but, like, he feels like he needs something more. Like, this life is too mundane for him. Yeah, but like maybe it's different again because uh, of I mean, the family you, yeah. and the job that he has been born into, mm. let's say. Like he watched his family do this business and he, he and he let's say romanticized it, I don't know yeah. the word. Now maybe he realized that it's not exactly like he also watched Again, movies. he watched like Godfather yeah. and I guess he thought life is gonna, because like what uh, the only thing that we know knew about Chris, let's say since the beginning of the show that he is like he's like very let's call it dramatic. He's like, let's fucking go. Let's go take the guns. Let's go and do this. And they're like, no, <laughs> yeah. do that. But it's similar like how Tony, let's say, when he talks about mm. his, talked about his father in the last episode, he mm. said like when he was a kid, he uh, thought, thought of his father as like the, this bad guy, like badass. this badass, you know? Mm. And like how potentially AJ is going to think the same, you know? And yeah. like wants to grow up and be like his father, Yeah, you know? And that is similar to um, Chris. I can't remember his name. I don't, like, like that's the, the most hardest. basic fucking name I have <laughs> ever. ever heard in my yeah. life. Chris. <laughs> his name is Christopher. Christopher. Uh, don't Gilmore mention Girls. it. Gilmore don't Girls. mention him. But now you will always remember. Now I will skate him forever. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't. Now I have negative feelings towards the guy. That, that's similar to him. He romanticized that life, and like I, I, he wanted to be that badass. He wanted to be. He wants to be feared, you know? He wants to be like, important. Yeah. Like he wants to... Respected. Yeah. Like, he can... Like, the guy... That's not an unusual story, you know what I mean? This is like, the this most is usual the story. This is the most basic story yeah. ever. Yeah. But, like, I enjoy it. <laughs> no, I love it. I like, find it very understandable. It's the most human story. Yeah. And I think everyone goes goes through it in different ways. Because, I mean, we are just different people. And, like... You can go through it in the, like, mundane way of maybe you, you know, you get a job and you're working on 9 to 5 and you feel like, is this gonna be the rest of your life Mm -hmm. and you don't find happiness in that? And, like, it's something that people just need to grapple with and find ways to make their lives, like, more fun. Like, do things, find other things that they enjoy, Enjoy. you know, not to get lost in this whole system. It's, it's, again, it's a very, it's a very human story. It's just, like, for him... It's um, it's a little bit different because, like, of the type of job that he is in. And in his case, like, it can become dangerous because, like, he also wields a fucking gun. You know, so, like, when a guy in the store doesn't take his order, even though he's, like, next in line, I thought he was right there, you know. Should, she, should he have shot the guy? No, but, like, he was correct in the line of thing, course. I think. When he feels this way and then someone, let's say, shows him disrespect he can snap like this and the other guy can end up dead. You know, I don't think that's regular for most people, but, like, it could be. A lot of the times, 
whenever you read something, some horrible tragedy happening, a shooting or whatever, oftentimes the person felt something similar maybe to like what Chris is feeling, which is why like it becomes dangerous. Yeah. And so like, I don't know where his um, arc is gonna, is gonna go. I thought it was very interesting. Like the uh, dream portion, the beginning yeah. that he saw his girlfriend and he saw Carmela. I don't know what to make of that because like the only thing I thought about was, like is is this supposed to parallel Tony in a way because like Tony was seeing his therapist as his mother. Mm, I think like it, it, it was just a similar scene but like I I I don't know how I would read it necessarily. I think, Maybe later on it becomes yeah, more clear. I don't know. I I don't know if it was for him or for the audience to connect his life at least to I Tony's. connected his life to Tony's like mm. just like we the last episode could have connected AJ's life to Tony's as well you mm. know that's how in yeah. that uh, first scene like I connected like his future like a wife and like doing yeah. this job and like you know yeah and uh, there was also a part in the beginning with the picture behind him the, with like pigs you yeah, know pigs. and that was like again an interesting picture because like in the picture like there was a mom okay. and like two little big piggies, <laughs> piggies <laughs> who were next to a mom and there were some piggies who left uh, you know, like, similar to birds flying away yeah similar to mm. birds or to the like you know like birds flying away but like we saw the whole like he, the family being destroyed here like is it more like uh, I don't know like Tony's storyline where let's say Tony stayed in that business and like his sister went away Meadow mm. is gonna maybe go away and like AJ is gonna stay with Chris he is deep into the business you know mm. like I don't know but like I think that was also like the like I think the scene uh, the, the the dream scene was very interesting in my opinion too. Whenever a show gives you a dream scene, yeah, you really yeah. have to like think about it. Yeah, um, you have to read into details because like mm. if you're making it, you're saying something like it's giving you a new medium to tell things not directly, but yeah, like yeah. you have you have you can to read see a lot where into his it. mind is. I just I just thought the whole thing was very interesting yeah we also had a, like the scene with him and tony talking about the mm. depression yeah, and anxiety tony was, like trying to like he has learned a lot in therapy like it helps him and so like he is trying to um broach that subject like when he thinks someone like he is reading his whole demeanor as being depressed because like he knows that he understands that and uh, Chris is very, he is the type of person that's very dismissive of any type of like mental health or whatever. Like he's one of those people that if you're going to a psychologist, he's gonna call you crazy, you know, like he's gonna be like, something is wrong with you. He doesn't seem like the type to necessarily I, I honestly, believe in that. Yeah, but like I honestly, again, that can, I can also that connect with Tony because I think it just in the world where they are and the things that like mm. they are doing, that is something that like you cannot talk about like i mean tony you only started feel... going to therapy now now that's what like I wanna maybe say. Like, chris in 20 years that's what i want to say like i can even there mm. see the like that, that is just the beginning for mm. chris where like this uh lifestyle is heavy on him again in different ways than tony because yeah. they're different people you know but like can make him have those feelings you know it just, it's understandable to me yeah i agree I was literally just telling Milena, I was, when finished the episode, I read a Wikipedia page about Tennessee Williams. Because when they, they mentioned Tennessee Williams in this episode, his girlfriend, Chris's girlfriend, Andrea, Adriana, Adria. Adriana, 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 uh, she said, so like she correlated him to Tennessee Williams and the episode is like Tennessee, I think his last name. And the only reason I know Tennessee Williams is because there is a national song it's called, I think, City Middle. And it says, like, uh, I think I'm, like, Tennessee Williams. I wait for the click. I wait, but it doesn't kick in. And, like, I when I don't know lyrics, I, like, have to know what they're talking about. Like, who the fuck is Tennessee Williams? And so, like, I that's the first time I heard of Tennessee Williams. And he's a writer. And I don't know any of his books. I don't even know what they're about. And the only thing I know from, because of the song, is, like, that there is some type of, like... He's, like, an alcoholic, I think. Um, and so I was reading his Wikipedia page to connect it to, uh, to Christopher because like I thought maybe potentially it can tell us something about where he ends up as a character. And like the only thing with Tennessee Williams is that like that I read is that he had um, 
like he had a hit later on in life, like mm-hmm. one of his books or whatever, but and he always had issues with alcohol and drugs and I think ended up dying like from a some type of like an accident that was I think connected to alcohol or mm-hmm. drugs. Or those yeah. And so like I just don't know if um if that's what's gonna be Chris's storyline potentially, just like he goes through life could be. And continuously, like, uh, we know that he does drugs. I don't know about the alcohol, but, like, I don't know if I he's mean, not, addiction. like... Yeah, it can be addiction in yeah, because, one like, way or the other. Yeah. I, could, I could imagine that, him using that to overcome the, like, mundaneness of life that he doesn't like living in. I don't know. I wonder if that's going to be his story. Because, again, they named the episode Tennessee mm-hmm, mm-hmm. his last name. Mm-hmm. No, that's uh, definitely... I mean, again, I think we're going to maybe... Like, we should keep that in mind Mm. with watching how his storyline progresses and where his storyline ends up. Like, how... Like, what he does in the future. Maybe he's going to, like, end up in jail, but so happy that he... (laughs) You know, it was important enough to uh, end up in jail. Say, like the, 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 that could be a story. You know, like again, as long as he's feared and respected. You know, like or it could be literally he never really necessarily makes it in this maybe. world. Continuously is like a and then addiction. side man, and he yeah. just like continuously drinks and does drugs, yeah. and that's it. And it's like nothing spectacular. Which like I can see them doing that because again, his arc seems like an arc of um, just about the how life is let's say normal like it's nothing grandiose or whatever and so like that seems like a type of an arc that you would end in a character it's like well he just continues yeah. drinking and doing drugs and like there is nothing yeah spectacular about it i think i don't know i'm i'm i i'm not sure I really about like that, that story as well um, no i would like like whichever story they decide mm. to go down to as long as like is well explored let's mm. say you know again i'm constantly thinking about somebody saying that like we are gonna really love the they think that we're gonna really love his story like his mm. arc you know and that now in this episode they're talking about his arc you know there can be a lot of things because i think he he's gonna get tony told him you basically want to get caught like you're doing so many mm-hmm. reckless things mm-hmm. you you want to get you're living on edge because you want to be recognized yeah. and again that can lead him to so many places there's a lot to do with this character a lot like there is a lot of uh, directions they can go with his ca- yeah with his character yeah and i'm very much looking forward I'm very to excited that. to see that yeah yeah i'm like i'm really happy ho- what they did with his character in this episode mm, me too uh the other storyline in this episode like i'm very interested is like the um, therapy part yes that was very interesting in in my opinion yeah because like i really i wonder how she like she was in the fence of tony and not dropping him as a as a client and like even though she knows he's dangerous. Yeah, but like, That's again, it. I don't know the, like, the responsibility of a therapist. Like, until what extent? Until I don't a, Until know. what extent do you have to go? I, you know? I, like, I, I don't know. Because it's different than like, if she was, let's say, a therapist to a uh, depressed... Somebody who is, let's say, in jail. I yeah. Don't know. Because, again, you know, it doesn't have to be different, really. But... Maybe I mean, because... it has to be different because the person that's not in jail can harm you. you know uh, yes, I mean? but like, like it's, he's a dangerous person. That's what I want to say. But like, person who is in jail still can harm you somehow. I mean, yeah, I like. I think it's a. It could be a very dangerous. <laughs> it's like I a very think... dangerous profession potentially. So but yeah, that's interesting. Like, I never know. thought of it. I can't no, say like I've never thought of it before. Me neither. Like, I'm not sure how like, but like, how I... it should be approached because like when they tell and the same to time, her drop yeah. him. He is a dangerous man, and like people like that are the people that are in need of most therapy. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, she can help him. Yeah, she could potentially help him. So like, you should not drop a person that's gonna be a dangerous person. You know, at the same time, he's a dangerous person to you. Like, and you can feel unsafe. But like, she, she feels she. That I always thought like that we were gonna have a story. From her perspective towards Tony, from her, like her personal feelings, mm. again, not a therapist, don't know much about it. Meaning, like I don't know how. It's fine to me to realize how they separate life. That's a thing that I don't know how how it happens. Th- like, that's can, how, can, that, that, that seems very hard for me, especially mm. if 
uh, if a person is very depressed or like has very mm-hmm. like big problems and things like that, you know, like how do you how do you make that just about work? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How is that their work and not everything in their life? You know what I mean? Like that's very like, I, I fascinating remember, to me. I remember in high school, like we had a psychology class mm-hmm. and that was very fun. And yeah, yeah. Like my friend, my best friend at that time. Like she wanted to enroll in psychology to study in university, and like I just I knew that that is something that I could never do because if someone starts telling me their story, I am gonna carry that with me. I there is like in no capacity can I just like I would be so burdened by the, all yeah, of it. Like like I, 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 I still think they are they are taught. Yeah, I guess I think they are taught. It's just that like. I don't have a friend who is psychologist. You know, no, I, like, I, I, I feel like you need to have you need to be a specific type of person as well. I think you have to have empathy to be a good psychologist, but you also cannot take it too far because, like, I feel like that would I couldn't separate it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I personally would everyone's story would weigh heavy on me, and so like I don't think I'm a I I don't think I would be. So appropriate. Like, that's to what be... I was saying. Like, so that's very interesting to me. Yeah, that's like fascinating to me. Uh, but like, so like, I have no idea what type of feelings we're gonna get from her, because I don't like I don't know how often it happens that like therapists get personally involved and have get personally feel personal feelings towards the their patient. Yeah. I don't mean like uh, I didn't mean romantic, like romantic yeah. feelings. I just like feelings like in the beginning of the episode she defended him like you know? I, that's what i mean like is she doing this because like you know she's a therapist and like yeah. she wants to help people and whatever like is she doing this because uh she feels like he can be helped and so like he that's she feels what like, i think she is yeah i and think so, like, she is she, she feeling a bit help. protective over him and so like, yes. like what what is it again when you see that somebody suffers from anxiety depression yeah uh panic attacks you know and things like that i i have no idea <laughs> i don't know what i'm take, talking but like i do believe that she thinks he can be helped yeah and that that is her job which is yeah it but is. like thing that is that that is how we would go about it but like she's yeah. a therapist so like what does she I, I don't know how to like, like read she, her and at the same time she knows it's not her first time that she finds out oh here's this he's dangerous she knows that he's dangerous she felt it on her skin the fact that he came to her house stole her car fixed her car god knows what else he has done you know like he has already crossed he has crossed he has crossed the line exactly and again and again she i don't know what the lines still, are <laughs> again she's still there yeah trying to help him I think she yeah. thinks he can be helped. Yeah. You know? And I think she's she's invested. Yeah. You know? Uh, so that that's why also, like, the last scene was very interesting to me. Like, because she defended him and then she said, he's, he's, I figured out that he's dangerous. I was scared mm. then. But, like, it seemed to me like you all, she already did know that he was dangerous again. Mm. He came to your house, mm. stole your mm. car. Mm. You know, she knows where you live. She know. He can do well, like, whatever he wants. It's, it's different when he, like, the demeanor that he yeah. had when he was, like, throwing that, like, it was an uncomfortable scene. Yeah. Uh, like, it's a, it's a different type of demeanor that, yeah. like, shows her another side of him. And, like... It's interesting. I, yeah. In my opinion. It was interesting that, like, she told him, you need to pay me for... That, I also found that b- bit interesting because, like, when he asked, I wonder why didn't she just answer? Like, it seemed like in... Let's say an easy answer was like, what if I got hit by a car or something? It's just because it, it you weren't hit by a car. Yeah, that's you what know I mean. what I mean? Like, you weren't hit by a car. Yeah, but like... So like that's what? a made-up scenario that did not happen. Yeah. So who cares? Yeah. It's like, he doesn't follow the rules. We also saw that, like, with AJ in the previous episode, that, like, he can't follow the rules, he yeah. can't follow... You know? And that's with him as well. Yeah, but, like, like I don't know, at, she... at that point, should you not engage you know what i mean like should you not give them that answer because he needs to learn that, i think like, she didn't want to i, sh- I yeah think but she... like that would like that escalates the situation i, I don't know if it would have been better if she just like said if you got hit by a car then that is like um not the same as you not showing up to your appointment that like i devoted this time to there could have been someone else at that whatever like 
I feel like the, the, the explanation could have been easy, let's say, and it would have diffuse the situation but like should you do that i feel like she didn't want to but like it's interesting that she didn't want yeah like why did she want that's what i can't like i cannot it seemed to me in that moment like she like she wanted to piss him off Mm. that's how because like before that she had this conversation with her ex but like maybe he maybe she i don't know yeah like i don't know if she's like on edge because of that and like somehow that translated that moment. I'm not sure, like, or if she did, just she did just, that on purpose to, like, show him that, like, you have to accept some things, yeah, you know, like, yeah. I... The rules are the rules. You... Who like, cares about the made-up scenario? You know? Is the most difficult for me to, like, gouge out. Not gouge out, but, like, I'm not a therapist. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what you should do in certain situations. And so, like, I don't know what... How she's broaching this, yeah. you know? I don't know. Like, is it professional? Is it something? Is it leaping into personal? What is the separation? I don't know. Like, it's so fascinating to me. Like, I didn't... I didn't even take that this into account. That we're gonna get this much of her personal life. Like, to meet her ex and to meet her kid. Like, yeah. to be in the eye of a psychologist looking at her patient as well. Like, And I'm wondering where it's gonna go again now. She got her answer. If she was doing it on purpose to see how he would yeah. react. Yeah. But like, and like, didn't want to give him a leeway or anything, you know, like she said, rules are rules and he reacted the way he reacted. He was scary, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, there is a problem now, technically, because fucking Olivia. Yes. What yes. A, I, like, I... I have no idea what's going I feel like, a, like, it's kind of clear she's an awful woman. So, like, I, I think, like, oh, well, someone, like, you cannot surprise me now. But somehow she does. Like, she didn't do anything new, but, like, I, she is, she No, is... yeah, it's just, uh, I, uh, she's becoming a very interesting character for mm. me, honestly. She, mm. I, the thing is, I find her funny in something, in some moments, which is ridiculous, because, like, I think she's horrible. And also, like... I impressed with how good and manipulation she is mm. and how evil she is. Honestly, that's she's so, incredibly cunning. Like that's she, very fucking impressive to me. And uh, like, but like it's that impressive because like in other points she's like a grandma. Like there's so many scenes where like this is my grandma. Yeah. And and then she like turns and this. when she is mean and doing things that's the moment when she's funny to me. I don't know. Yeah, but like like it's it's she wants to get back at her fucking son. You know, for because... putting her here and for being traumatized, basically. Exactly, by her. because and she, she knows that he is going into therapy and talking about her. Yeah. She knows that he she inflicted those feelings yeah. in him yeah. and but like she does not accept that guilt. Like there is she no guilt not... in her. Guilt she wants is to a punish concept. him for potentially talking about her hundred percent talking because she knows yeah. she's guilty, she knows what she did. Yeah, but, like, she thinks she's, that's, like, dumb. Like, I don't think she is, like, hiding her guilt. Like, I don't think she is, I don't think, like, the deep down she, like, feels guilt. Feels no, guilt. No, that's what no. I mean. Like, she's not. She thinks that, like, he is bad for doing that. Uh, yeah, I think he, she thinks that he should be ashamed and that probably he's weak and that I don't fucking know what she thinks. Like, there is no smidge of empathy or anything because, like, she would not be the fucking mm. mother that she was if there was a smidge mm. of empathy in her. But, like, to tell that to um, Junior... There will be no repercussions. To emphasize that, like, they think there is a mole mm. uh, and to be like, well, he is speaking to a psychologist, psychiatrist or whatever... And so, like, maybe he told her something. Mm. And so now, wh- yeah. I don't know where that wh- where that leaves us, what they're going to do with that. Right. Uh, because, like, everyone's going to find out. And we know how Tony is also, like, feeling about the, him going to therapy. Like, he does not like to say it. Like, he did not broach the subject even with Chris because there's a stigma about that. Like, there's a stigma to this day. And this was, like, late 90s, early 2000s, like... There's yeah. a bigger stigma, I'm sure, at that, yeah, at that point. point. So, like, that's... I mean, that I th- it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. And I, I guess we do have a mole. I mean, I don't know how else the police would know where to be at what time. I only know it's not Tony. I know it's not Chris. Mm-hmm. And everyone else... Like, I know each of their faces, and I still cannot differentiate any of them. Like, I don't know their names. It's If it's, if, if it's someone, it's one of them. 
doesn't really make a difference to me because I don't know anyone. I just know the one that we, in the one of the previous episodes that like we paid the money to, Hash. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. He seemed nice. I know the name Pussy. <laughs> Pull there, yes, there's Pussy. <laughs> which one is he though? Uh, I just remember the name, but which uh, one is he? I think he was one in this episode, but then there is there is the one that like was I cosplaying know. Godfather when he wore the suit. He I has know. like a hair. I know a bit of shortish. I know I got, again. I know their faces. I just don't know which one is which. Or like like you said, like somehow they're all the same person to me. Meaning like I have they're no idea which Italian one. Lobster. Yeah, and I don't know which one said what, mm-hmm. which one's doing what, Mm-mm. which one like we had the, two or three of them talk to Chris in this episode. I don't know. They all like all the conversation were like the same to me. You know, like the one that spoke to Chris, like he had a nice conversation with mm-hmm. Chris. Chris said to the to one something along the lines like, oh, I, I can't remember what he said. Yeah. I don't have a arc and the guy was funny, something mean, but like I don't remember. Yeah, he was like, I got God. old and here I am or whatever. Oh, Noah's arc. Is that... that was funny that we didn't want to... But like, again... You know where what... an arc, no. <laughs> I have no idea. One of them could, could be, be the mom. Like informant, I guess. Like FBI informant. Is that what... The... Like they yeah, they, they yeah. like turned one of them. Like, yeah, yeah. So that they would, I guess, not Again, get... that would also be an interesting story hmm. to me. I Like, Tony dealing with a betrayal like that, that would be very... Especially because Tony is very close to them. Mm. Tony cares about and every single one of them. Like, they are family to him. And he is very... I like that about Tony with how affectionate he is with his yeah. family and his friends, you know? Uh, so like I yeah I think that would be very interesting storyline to see from the both perspective perspectives why this one has turned because I think they all have similar opinions like they are in this you know like, but like I feel like it could be easy if the police have something on him that, or whatever but like and that, so like if he would uh, end that up would, in that, jail and like taking all the money away from his family that would be an interesting storyline for me to see again because somehow it's it's, it's even more interesting. Because they are very close with their family. Yeah. And they are turning, that person is turning against his brothers, against his best friends, against, yeah, in his eyes, his family, you know? Like, so, like, that would be, in my opinion, at least, interesting storyline for that character, but, like, also an interesting storyline for Tony because he and would be deal with that? very hurt by that, in my opinion. I mean, he would, but, like, I would like, like to see. He killed the informant. He killed the guy in episode five because he also turned. He was an informant. But, like, then I think it could be interesting if it's somebody who is very, very close to him. Like... And, I mean, it, it could be. I just, like, I can't differentiate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, the only one that I know is but Chris, like, you know? Yeah, like, I mean, everyone else is always there together. So yeah, like, but, nah. like, all three of them, I think they're very close to him. He barely died. Yeah. To continue on. Now, whichever one of, the, like, the these few guys... Yeah. Which I know if if it's one of hurt. them, let's say, would be informant, like, all of them are very, very fucking close to him. Mm. It's like, I... W- it would be interesting to me, like, if uh, we didn't find out by yet, just yet, if we had time, again, as well, to get to know a bit more their them characters, yeah. as, you know? And then... For us to also be a moment of... Uh, uh, whoever stands out in the next that's few episodes, that's the important. That's what I think Whoever so well. stands out. So let's pay attention to that. Yeah. That's what I think as well. Like, I would like for us to react to that as well. Not just mm. Tony, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, for, not for me to be like, oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. You know? I mean, again, but it would be... It would, it would be interesting anyway, because, like, we would go through that with Tony. Yeah. You know? That makes me so excited. Very excited. Honestly, again, just enjoying this show. Like, I just fucking enjoy it. It's perfect for me. Mm-hmm. And, like, mm-hmm. every time I cannot wait to play. I Like, whenever we want, we have Sopranos to film, so fucking excited. I mean, I was gonna say, cool. with all of our shows as well. What but, are like, we not now we're for? talking about Sopranos. I'm gonna mention the Sopranos, you know? I'm always happy when I edit. Yes. Like, oh, I can just like I have now. never been. Oh my god! I have to now edit Sopranos, yeah. and it's a longer show. Yeah. Like it's easier to edit the shorter one. But like that mm-hmm. has never happened to me. Like I edit with a smile on my face yeah. because I'm excited to watch the episode again. I don't think I even watch us because I don't think we talk a lot in during the episodes. You know, it's one of those shows where yeah. like, but like, I mean, did we talk? in the wire we talked later because yeah, like, there's so many things later, to yeah, say yeah. but like you cannot really Save start discussing <laughs> things during the, during the because like they talk yeah and even when we talk a bit over the dialogue yeah. we're like pay attention yeah well <laughs> you know, like there's just like some shows that don't necessarily work True. for 
reacting at every moment but are great for discussions yeah. and so that's it but we give you neither I don't, yeah, neither the reaction or the discussion <laughs> i just feel like it deserves better than us <laughs> this is what we have that's it guys you're this that's you're what you signed up for well, what can we do exactly thank you so much for watching we'll see you very soon bye